Christian Hacking, welcome back. You made it to the <laughs> second podcast. <laughs> yes, I have. Don't let it go to your head. I, you know, I need a human shield on here. You know, so are we allowed to say that we are doing them back to back today? Yeah. Well, I think people might notice that because you the know, same background, same, same clothes. shirt. I mean, it's not yeah. unlike me to wear the same shirt for several weeks. Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> you know, yeah, no. If we're if we're being absolutely honest, we we haven't recorded this live or even close to live. Well, it's a pleasure to be back in the same room. Yeah. Having not left the room yeah. between the last podcast. Thanks for not leaving the room. No yeah. worries. I'm Great. committed. Fantastic. We've just... Uh, I'm wired up, literally. I, mean, I can't... We've, we've just blown up. Is it the third wall, the fourth wall? Why? By looking at the camera. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Whoa. Yeah. Brother, you're going to have to pay repairs for that. I, I should be That's, like House of Cards. Yeah, I should well. be like, who does this guy think he is doing back-to-back podcasts? <laughs> uh, but yeah... Okay, so all, all the walls have been thoroughly destroyed. Yeah, but that's what this is about. Down. It's hey, about breaking the stigma. We, that's right. We've got to break down these walls. Um, and what are we talking about today? We're talking about scale, the scale, the scale, the scale. Because last time we talked about what abortion actually is. Yes, we got there in the end. We got there in the end. We defined it, and we define it as the intentional killing. killing of an innocent human being. And we talked about how that happens. Yeah. Uh, and there's no nice way yeah. to kill a human being. It's always violent. It's always nasty and even if there's anesthetic which there isn't generally yeah. an abortion uh it's inhumane but and there's always consequences always consequences yeah because um it's never right to do the wrong thing an iteration of john piper's that's right. it's always right to do the right thing it's always yeah i mean which you i rephrased it which means i get copyright on that. you do so, but you didn't do it in the john piper no, accent no, in the I first didn't. one so no. if you're going back in the hope that he will do that you can have yeah. to listen forward yeah in the hope that we will get dave to do a john piper impression <laughs> before get, this series is yeah finished. i get the sense you're not going to give up until that happens no i'll so, be i will be yeah. back okay. with a different shirt okay to do that so we are talking about the scale because it's one thing to say how and it, and it's true every single abortion is unspeakably significant the, the mm. taking of one innocent human life is a great tragedy it's a travesty mm. it's an abomination so in a sense we don't need this episode because even if it only occasionally happened i mean we we don't have to talk about the scale of something in order to prove that it's wrong mm. and actually sometimes uh we can be quite calloused you know because if i Imagine I knew someone in my community. Mm. Imagine if I knew one wife was being beaten by her husband. Mm. Would I say, wow, it's just one? You know, yeah. what's that as a percentage? Statistically, it's yeah. unlikely. Yeah. You know, it's yeah. not, it's, it's like N versus one, very yeah. marginal, you know? Yeah. No. And normally, um, if we take the humanity of a victim seriously enough, yeah. we don't need to be, you know, um, persuaded by the scale. Um, so if this is the first podcast people are listening to, I, I, you know, do go back and listen to the first one because the severity of abortion is inherent in what it is. Mm. But the scale is, I think at least for me personally, this is the thing that really grips me when I realised this about 10 years ago, not only the fact of abortion, what happens, but the sheer scale of it mm. brought me to the conclusion, and I'll, I'll put this out there now, this is the greatest human rights issue the greatest injustice mm. of our day and in fact now i'll go on and say of all time mm. in terms of the scale okay now um well it's seven it actually works out at seven percent of the human population we're wiping out by abortion seven percent seven percent it's insane wow yeah seven percent of every year no so, so every so, so since wow. abortion was legislated we have eliminated, right. killed wow. seven percent of the human population. Wow. Human population, do wow. Which is like, what do you do with that? Yeah. You know. Wow, that's quite hard to process. Sorry, did I so, drop the first statistic in? No, too yeah, early? I, I, wasn't, <laughs> I wasn't expecting them so quick. Sorry. No, no, that's fine. Yeah. But, they, but this is what we need, isn't it? Because a, a number on its own in isolation doesn't mean much, does it? We, yeah. we, 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 we We've spoken before about this book, Factfulness. Yes. Really interesting book. Big, big fans. Big fans. We should do a podcast just on that because it's... We should, yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's got some principles that, that are vital, not just in this, dealing with this injustice, but all yeah. injustices, really. So this is just very briefly, this is a guy who, he was a medic, a kind of world health expert, and his big thing, well, one of his big things is putting... Developing a fact-based world. That's right. Yeah, the, the, the stress-relieving 
practice of only carrying opinions for which you have evidence. Yes. So he's yeah. all about evidence, and, he, and in particular, put, putting evidence in context. So he yes. says, look, you, can, you tell me there were three bus crashes in India last year. Yeah. Well, gross, only if, gross understatement. Yeah, well, exactly. Yeah. Only if you know the size of India. Yeah. Uh, can you even, and also, crucially, the history yeah. of bus crashes in India. Yeah. Can you say whether that's a terrible thing or a good thing, relatively speaking, or yeah. a better thing than last year? So he talks about that's not being bad, but still yeah. better yeah. than it was. Yeah. And that was, for me, one of the great things. But, but, but for our purposes today, he said, never put a number on its own. Yeah. Numbers only make sense next to other numbers. Yes. So we've got to start seeing abortion in context in terms of the scale by comparing it with other numbers. Okay? Yeah. So let's, but but before we do that, let's just talk about the sheer scale. Let's let's just get the big number mm-hmm. for um, abortion in the UK since 1967. Okay, we're going to listen to this clip, which just gives us the sheer number, but it does it putting it alongside other numbers to, to start to give us a bit of a sense of proportion. Okay, so I'm just going to play this now. What you're about to hear is the sound of metal ball bearings hitting a metal tray. Each ball bearing that falls into the tray represents 1,000 British lives lost. The Second Boer War. World War I. World War II. Terrorist attacks since 1970. COVID-19 mentioned as one of the causes on the death certificate. The attack on the unborn child since 1967. I mean, what do you do with that? Mm. 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 It just goes on yeah. and on yeah. and yeah. on, like yeah. you know, because because from school, right, with with, with with regard to like World War yeah. Two yeah. and the Holocaust mm. and the atrocities in Russia, and mm. and we we've got a sense of just the huge yeah. human scale of it, mm. Mm. but that like lasts for like. 10 seconds, yeah, yeah, less. Yeah, yeah. That lasts like three, yeah. maybe two seconds. Yeah. And then you've got this, yeah. you know, this just, this kind yeah. of ever continuing mm. kind of noise yeah. Yeah. that spans right from, right, from these, right from these conventions that were made under Nuremberg and, mm. you know, this resolve by the world mm. to never do that again, yeah. you know, yeah. to never go to war again, the formation of NATO and all these other yeah, things. Yeah, yeah. And it's like, and then silently, whilst all mm. of this has been going on, like a yeah. a just constant stream of yeah. death yeah. and suffering, you're like, whoa, yeah, yeah, uh, like yeah. reality check, yeah, yeah. And that's you know, it, the Holocaust was six million, yeah. But that what you heard there was just that was just our Holocaust. So that was sorry, that wasn't even the world. That was all just the UK, right? So, oh, my days. so our Holocaust of babies is greater than the numerically greater than the Holocaust of the Jews in in Nazi Germany. Yeah, but then so is America's. Yeah, so is Australia, China's, yeah. Russia's. Yeah, Germany's. Yeah. So what we're seeing is okay. We we you know, and this is this is human nature. You, we we think you know this must never happen again. World War Two, we will never go back there. Yeah, and yet. 
it's like we've had a World War Two in almost every nation since. Yeah. But but almost, and also worse because, you know, at least everyone kind of left World War Two thinking, you know, humankind isn't yeah. great. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, I guess what's yeah yeah what's been yeah. so striking about this is you know it's been coupled yeah with a sense of like progress right, yeah. and improvement yeah. and pat yourself on the yeah. back yeah. you know yeah. And in fact, we had this on the streets today. I've heard it many times before, where people say, you know, they'll talk about slavery. Oh, thankfully, we're, we're done with that. And I hope we'll never go back. Yeah. Of course, there's still slavery today, but they meant yeah. legalized, you know, institutionalized slavery. And, and you hear that about lots of injustice. Oh, thankfully, we're past that now. You know, yes, we're, yes. We're, we're so yeah. much more civilized. And yeah. yet, I would say objectively, numerically, yeah. we are by orders of magnitude worse. Yeah. Um, so that's just in terms of sheer numbers, okay? Yeah. But let's let's try and make more sense of this this figure. So we're, we're focusing on the UK today. We we can talk about global numbers, but um, in the UK, that number we heard represented yeah. is now is ten million. Yeah. Okay. Ten million. Okay. Yeah. Let me just read this for comparison. How, how do you make sense of ten million? Okay. Ten million is more than the combined populations of Birmingham, Bradford, Bristol, Cambridge, Cardiff, Chester, Derby. Edinburgh, Leeds, Leicester, Liverpool, Manchester, Newcastle upon Tyne, Northampton, Nottingham, Oxford, Sheffield, Southampton. Yeah. When I first heard that, I didn't believe that. Yeah. I had to fact check that because I thought there's no... You literally went through all of them. I, I, I'll be honest with you. I went through the ones I knew to be the biggest. Okay. And, and then, once I realised they were... That it was adding up. Well, yeah. the, the, the biggest one is about a million. Yeah. And I thought, I was like, okay, no, this, this, I mean, I don't trust where it came from. Yeah. But I could not believe that. that we, just imagine a bomb dropping on each of those cities, total annihilation. Yeah. That's the scale we're talking about here. Yeah. This is not a few isolated cases, yeah. extreme circumstances, yeah. a kind of last resort. Now, in some cases, yeah, yeah. fine, it is, whatever. But the scale is just unspeakable. As some people put it recently, missing millions. Yeah, it's like yeah, literally it's, millions. You know, people are quite used to exaggerating yeah. products yeah. or events to get people yeah. over there, but it, but yeah. it is yeah, missing yeah. millions. Yeah, it, millions. From from every home, one in mm. one in three women have had at least one abortion by the age of forty-five. Mm. Right, many we know go on to have multiple abortions. Yeah. I think it's something like is it thirty-nine percent of women? It's more now, more than forty percent. Forty percent of women who've had one abortion go on to have yeah. another. Yeah, Those yeah, are twenty yeah, twenty yeah. figures. So, so in every single home, we're, we're like, it's in one in three homes, yeah. we're talking missing well, siblings, yeah. you know, Something like that, yeah. you know, yeah. you know, brothers, sisters yeah. who, yeah. who, who never saw yeah. um, the light of day across, right. in, across yeah. the entire country. The, the numbers are almost too big to, 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 to engage with, because yes. you know, if, if a, if a, if a bus crashes and everyone's killed and let's say it's 80 people, 100 people, I can kind of think, right, that, that's like my school year. Mm. You know, if a plane crashes and 30 people are killed, I can think that's a classroom. Mm. But what do you do with a figure like, and this is last year in England and Wales, 210,000. Mm. That's just in one year. Mm. If a classroom full of children was killed anywhere in the nation in one go, no. we'd be horrified. I, I mean, mean, take 1996, Dunblane. Mm. You know, a, a shooter, Thomas Hamilton, went into a school, he killed 16 yeah. primary school pupils, yeah. right? And then one teacher. Yeah. And I, I mean, I, I like, I, like my heart is on mm. a journey of becoming softer. Mm. You know, <laughs> I'm public school educated, mm. so it's it mm. started off quite concrete. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I'm kind of deconcretizing yeah. it, yeah. whatever that means. Uh, well, the Holy Spirit is in me, but but since I've got a little girl mm. and she's attending primary, and I'm mm. like, it's like just, unthinkable. It is. It is so unthinkable, mm. and and it's primary. Like mm. uh, like a tiny part of me is like, okay. You know, I can see how some fanatic would get um, would get so frustrated with the ideologies that they mm. might go into a university yeah, yeah. as being the core mm. engine room mm, of, mm. of maybe ideologies that that person mm. in, in, in a corrupt yeah. thinking may want to deal with, mm. even mm. though it doesn't deal with it. But I, I can kind of I have a tiny weeny bit of understanding mm. for that. But primary school mm. children, 16 of them, the country was in bits. Yeah. You know, yeah, it's yeah, the yeah. largest school shooting that we've ever had. Yeah. And I think what 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 makes it so bad is that they're children they're yeah. like they, yeah. they're the, the they're the more in they're the most yeah, innocent the most, yeah. of us and yeah. so this this idea that we're not talking with 16 but we're talking mm. 16 scaled up mm -hmm. you know to the power of five 10 yeah. to the power of five you're like yeah like yeah yeah, yeah. 
yeah, yeah. You, you do. You, it's so yeah. hard to, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you know. Um, well, it's more. It, it's more than sixteen every hour, isn't it? I mean, it's it's. You've got every working day. You've got eight hundred. Yeah. But, so so it, that's Monday to Friday. Monday to Friday. So Monday to Friday, nine till five. Yeah. The abortion industry. You know, they take weekends. I mean, yeah, so, with yeah. pills by post. Yes. Yeah, it's different now. But you know, in terms of when these are sent out, you know. Yeah. Of the eight hours of the working day, Monday to Friday, 100 every hour. Yeah. 100 every hour. That's like, uh, what's more like my school year every hour. That's just... My, we went to the same school. Yeah. It's our school. Yeah, our school. Yeah. 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 Our school year. Which, is, okay, is 120. Yeah. Or so in the year. Every hour of the working day. Yeah. It's just, yeah, it is It is difficult to get our heads around. We've got to try, we, because un, un, until we get the scale of the... You know, we can't address everything at the same level. Yeah. We're finite. Nor are we all called to the same thing. And, and this is not about, the point of this podcast series is not to try and turn everyone into a full-time pro-life activist. Yeah, yeah. We're all called to different things. But collectively, as the church, yeah. and in fact, not just the church, anyone who, who says they care about human rights, yeah. collectively, there is an objective case that has nothing to do with who I am, my passion, my calling. There's just an objective case. Mm. For abortion, if you're going to spend any resources or any injustice, mm. it's got to be abortion. Mm. No, no innocent, no, no victims more innocent and mm. helpless. But also, the scale just blows every other injustice, not only today but historically, mm. out of the water. Mm. Well, it's, it's just as you do, it's like what you're doing just there every hour. It's like mm. this drum beat yeah. of death, mm. you mm. know, mm. and it's just like all the time. Yeah, yeah. And you're kind of thinking, mm. how can you be focusing on? Mm. I mean, mm. it's not to say that the environment doesn't yeah. matter. Of course, yeah. it matters. And it's not yeah. to say that we shouldn't be doing something yeah. about modern day slavery. Yeah. Of course, we should. It's not to say that we shouldn't, yeah. you know, be ensuring that people's rights are protected. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I think the church should be seeking to defend other people's rights rather than our own. Mm. Mm. But, but, but it's like this has to. Yeah. That yeah. has to be. Yeah. Yeah. You know, one. Yeah. What, you know, the greatest thing that yeah. we we need to address. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Yeah, um, and, in, and in terms of trying to put this into proportion, you know, a lot of people say, "Oh, climate change, that's the crisis of the day. This is the emergency." You know, I even yeah. saw a, a post downtown said, "You know, uh, unless unless we uh, do something in three years, climate change is going to be irreversible. That's the yeah. that's the end. You know, yeah, yeah. end of the world sort of language." But by the World Health Organization's own estimations, yeah. between twenty thirty and twenty fifty, they anticipate that because of the climate change. Uh, an additional 250,000 lives lost every year. Yeah. Okay. Quarter of a million. Yeah. Globally, yeah. more than a million babies are deliberately killed every week. Yeah. Yes. It, it's not even worth comparing those two. Yeah. Numerically. Yeah. And that's and that's their prediction, you know, yeah. whether that'll come to pass, you know, for all yeah. we know, climate change might save a load of lives by making yeah. food production easier in countries where they can't currently yeah, farm, yeah. Or, you know. Well, now you've got us cancelled from Spotify, right, yeah, there definitely. We go. There we go. There goes our final follower. Yeah. You know. <laughs> by suggesting that climate change may have benefits yeah, in yeah. some parts of the world. I mean, <laughs> you are so right that that the, the destruction, the intentional destruction of the next generation is the most, it's the antithesis of hope, right? Mm. Even mm-hmm. if we mm-hmm. are, mm-hmm. even if we are scaling up towards yeah. a ginormous mm. ecological disaster, mm. Like we need these we need kids, <laughs> we need these kids to help yeah. us. And if you look yeah. at the, you know, we're we're, we're grossly under reproducing. Like that, that's that's yeah. that's a known fact. You yeah. know, um, in in Europe, yeah. you know, the UK yeah. is on one point seven our is yeah. our replacement rate. Yeah. Like, so so, you know, when I'm thinking, okay, we've got a problem. Mm. Like may, maybe we need to shift mm. ginormous mm. waste heaps and mm. and counties full mm. of rubbish. Mm, 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 we need people for that, yeah, you yeah, know. Yeah, 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 yeah. And yet, yet we are, yet we are kind of we are we are killing our next generation. Yeah. And then instead of dealing with that, you know, this ginormous industrial scale killing, mm. and and it is an industrial yeah. scale killing when you look yeah. at the mechanics on how it's happening yeah. and the way it's being cloaked in euphemisms mm. that we looked at in the first episode <clears throat> you've 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 got this like it, it's like the worst strategy ever yeah you know we're yeah. we're we're killing our next generation which will prevent us from dealing with the problem the other problems yeah. that we have in the world yeah and then and then all the people dealing with the other problems have got all mm. kinds of chronic 
pains and issues, emotional, mm. spiritual, and moral, because because mm. they've been the ones who've yeah. killed their babies That's in the right. first generation. Right. So they're they're looking for redemption yeah. in the wrong places, yeah. Yeah. as opposed to just confessing what's yeah. happened, mm. coming, you know, you know, coming back to the God who yeah. ultimately loves them and mm. has died for them. Mm. You know, uh, it's like, yeah. I mean, the the, the scale, the the numbers. What I think the numbers do, you know, because we all know of tragic situations, you know, like, you know, I think of Jessica and Holly Wells mm. or Madeline McCann, mm. and you know, that's relived mm. in the in the press at the moment because of the horrendous things mm. she went through, or or even I was in Clapham Junction the other day. I went to Clapham Junction Station, and I was just thinking of Sarah Everard. Mm. And I was just thinking mm. about what happened to her, you know, just, you know, those are those are those are four lives. Mm. Mm. and obviously we, we, we hear them and they break our hearts especially mm. when we've got children it's like they break our hearts but we're like but it's not happening everywhere mm. you know mm. there's no action point mm. for us because we're yeah. like like yeah evil exists like yeah. like like lord like be with those families yeah but it's like this is happening mm. everywhere mm. Mm-hmm. all around us on a ridiculous scale yeah. on an industrial scale mm. Like surely the scale of it means it just has to be at the top of everyone's yeah, agenda. Yeah, you know, yeah. I think the 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 human issue means mm. it should be on our agenda. But when yeah. you when when I think the scale question, yeah. it means it means yeah, that's right, right, because it shows it's not random. Yeah, these are not randomized. You know, oh well, that's a tragedy. Yeah, or even just like a random senseless evil act. You know that that someone who was you know psychologically very unwell yeah. it, no we're talking about normal people yeah in their hundreds every day yeah carrying this out yeah having this done giving their consent taxpayers paying for it yeah i love them um, when you're talking about you need the next generation a friend and colleague of ours joanna i love the way she put it she said people are never the problem yes sin is the problem people are not the problem or to put it another way killing is never the answer yeah you don't solve the world's problems by killing off people yeah because people mm-hmm. are not the problem yeah some of the things that people do are the problem yeah. including killing people right yeah. so yeah let's not justify killing people abortion by saying well people are the problem so let's get rid of them yeah yeah that's only compounding the problem we're doing yeah. more of the problem we're killing yeah let me do, we need to finish this up let me just let me just leave us with one more um factoid that just helps us hopefully to put some perspective on this we've already talked about the one in three women one in three women has at least one abortion yeah in her lifetime the one for me that really hits home is this because you can just apply this to any you know a group of friends a family gathering a yeah. classroom a, a football stadium any any size you want today in england and wales one in four babies is killed in the womb mm. one in four that that means for every three babies born alive mm. one has been deliberately killed yeah Okay, so imagine you're, you're walking down the street with three friends. Mm. Th- there would have been a fourth. Yeah. He was killed. She was killed. You're in a classroom of 30 people. Yeah. Well, it would have been 40, but 10 of them were killed. So this is, the sca- this, is, this is the size of what we're talking about. One in four babies being killed. And that's not just a big statement about that child, that mother. So, for, for the whole of society, we just cannot overstate. Yeah, yeah. The severity, the the weight of this issue. So, um, those listening in, stay with us as we consider not just the scale, not just what abortion is, but what it is spiritually, and what we're meant to do about it. And if you don't believe us, we've got some links. Then we, we? Do have, we'll, yeah. we'll stick some links on yeah. there. The sponsorship plea was turned down, <laughs> um, but you know, <laughs> from that, last week, loads more fish in the sea. Yeah. So. Um, yeah, we may have to go with Dove. Yeah, let's, I Dove think, next. I think we've got a more chance. It's got kind of more spiritual vibes. Yeah, I think you know. so. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, please, please. I, I remember when I first engaged on this issue and I was like, no, it can't be. Mm. It can't be. Mm. And the, the numbers yeah. just came to haunt yeah. me. So please do, just go do check, check it out. out. It's, check everything we've been talking about, it's out there. It's, it's public government statistics and, and so on. Thank you, Christian. Thanks for having me back. Uh, anytime, anytime.